budget is quite favorable towards the MSME sector. Uh, in fact, uh, the budget uh, has been very professional uh, uh, in its presentation as well as its uh, focus. Uh, the critical constraints addressing the sector are addressed. Uh, what are these critical constraints? These critical constraints are in terms of input costs, that is high cost of production, uh, in terms of market connect uh, or market access, which is another which has been a cause for concern for the MSME sector, and also in terms of credit access and credit connect, in terms of skills, as well as in terms of uh, infrastructure. Now, all these areas are being addressed by the budget, has been addressed by the budget, though we don't have the numbers as yet. Uh, the area, for example, in terms of raw material costs, input costs, these are targeted by a, a very, very proactive regime where uh, tariffs on uh, imports are now being reduced uh, so as to make uh, Indian industry more competitive and facilitate their global sourcing of inputs. Similarly, with regarding to outputs, like say the machinery manufacturing sector, the capital goods sector is in fact a sector where we have been traditionally quite weak uh, in the global value chain. Uh, we find that the capital goods sector is now being protected by a tariff of about 7%. The 7% tariff protection would ensure a protected market for the sector until they evolve global competitiveness. So this is with regard to input and market. Similarly, with regarding to say access to credit, uh, we are promoting financial inclusion is now being facilitated through uh, converting post offices also into banks so that the remotest of villages and districts would have access to banking uh, instruments. Uh, also, the emergency credit line uh, system, which had a credit guarantee cover of about 50,000 crores, has now been increased tenfold to 5 lakh crore, which will also be a great relief and facilitate uh, uh, loans to the MSME sector. The credit guarantee scheme of the government of India, the uh, C, uh, uh, CGT MSE is also being revamped as to ensure uh, that uh, MSME sector could be benefited better uh, through uh, more conducive systems as well as uh, to, uh, uh, as well as through more proactive response towards needs of the sector. About 2 lakh crore is expected to be facilitated to the MSME sector through this revamping in initiative of the credit guarantee scheme alone. Uh, similarly, with regard to infrastructure, the Gati Shakti infrastructure projects, mainly in terms of logistic parks, logistic hubs, are all expected to facilitate the MSME and the larger industrial sector uh, uh, to be uh, uh, to be apt. And in fact, the MSME sector has been facing uh, logistical problems with regard to terminal market and exit point infrastructure. This is with regard to accessing global markets with regard to ensuring seamless connectivity between uh, processing hubs and marketing hubs. So this infrastructure and Gati Shakti investment, uh, investment Gati Shakti infrastructure would certainly help the MSME sector uh, with regard to its market connectivity, both domestically as well as in terms of exports. Similarly, with regard to skilling, uh, a revamping of the skills uh, qualification framework and also uh, surely the curricula is on the anvil. This will ensure that uh, uh, the skills that we are, the skilled trainees, uh, uh, the millions of skilled trainees who are churned out every year are trained appropriately based on uh, industry needs. Uh, similarly, with regard to EODP, that is uh, EODB, that is the ease of doing business portal is now going to go beyond being just a regulatory portal into a facilitatory portal. It's going to be a B2B portal, a B2G portal and a G2B portal. So all kinds of initiatives by the government targeting the critical factor conditions and demand conditions. The numbers are yet to be evaluated in detail, uh, but uh, quite uh, reflects the uh, the proactive uh, focus of the government towards the MSME sector. Thank you.